Welcome to this new dev channel about writing simple and scalable code. We'll cover front-end and back-end development. And for this first episode, we will show how to quick start a scalable web component project. We will be using modern HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and we will scale the code with TypeScript and PostCSS. As a bonus, we will show a neat integration between Sketch app and SVG and CSS variables. Okay, let's code. First, let's clone the web component quick start from DOM native, which has some web component utilities. NPM install to set everything up. NPM run watch to build and do live development. We get the hello world, very simple HTML file. First, our app bundle JavaScript, which is compiled from our TypeScript source and packaged via rollup. Then app bundle CSS, which is packaged via post CSS. We have a live reload local server for live development. And in the body, we have a vmain component, which is defined in the vmain TypeScript file. Okay, let's see the vmain source code now. The vmain tag is associated to the main view component, which extends base HTML element, which internally extends native HTML element. The init from the base HTML element get called on the first connected callback, which appends the content to the page. Here we do a quick edit, and we see the result. It is important to note that custom HTML element can only append content on or after the first connected callback. The only exception is that the shadow DOM can and should be built and attached at the constructor phase. We'll see that later on the ICO element component. Okay, back to the vmain component. It has an on event TypeScript decorator, which binds a on pointer up event on the element. And when the hello box gets clicked, the on hello click gets called. The hello box has a CICO component, which is defined in its own file. The ICO element is a shadow DOM. So first we have the reasonable CSS, where we style the component itself, which can be overridden by a global style sheets. And then we start the children that cannot be styled from the outside, except if it uses property exposed as CSS variables, like the fill or CSS part, which will be the topic of another episode. The ICO element is a basic HTML element, which build and attach the shadow DOM at the constructor and adopt the style sheets we created earlier. As we can see, it's a fully contained component, which is usually what we want for leaf components. If we look at the CSS side now, we have a main PCSS, which is a post-CSS entry point. We include base CSS, which is styling for the body and global styles. Then we have some CSS variables for colors and for other styles like elevations. And then we have the matching vmain post-CSS for the vmain component. In the vmain CSS, we scope the styles by tag using post-CSS nested. And we use CSS grid for layout, where we split the placement of the hello box from its styling. The best practice is to have the parent place the children and the children filling the space given. This gives a lot of flexibility later as the code grows. Okay, now we can talk about the cherry on the cake, which is sketch two CSS variables and SVG. First, we decide what needs to be exported in the sketch dev config file. Here we will output sprite SVG images and colors from the design sketch file. Open the design sketch file. We have some icons, the images and the colors. If we zoom to the colors and change the style of the text strong color from red to green, save, and it gets live updated in the page. And we can do the same thing with SVG icons. Here we change it to a square, press save, and voila, updated live. Let's see what happened on the code side. Here we will create a new icon, press save, and the code gets updated, which will trigger the hot reload. Same with the colors. Let's change again the text strong, change it to white, update the style, press save, and the code gets updated. Very simple, but scales extremely well. Okay, this will be it for today. Hope you liked it. Feel free to put a like, a subscribe, and give any feedback in the comment. Have a good one, and see you next time.